money. The idea has evolved through the ages. From simple barter to paper currency and now cryptocurrencies. Of the over 3000 cryptocurrencies in existence, one currently shines the brightest and has become the name on every investor's lips. The one cryptocurrency everyone wants in their wallet. The Bitcoin. Bitcoin was invented in 2009 and in spite of all the criticism and opposition to cryptocurrency from financial institutions and traditional investors, Bitcoin has become a household name and is quickly becoming a viable and credible investment option for millions around the world. This is something that was not even fathomable a decade ago. One of the most important rules to invest in is that you need to understand what you're investing in. And so it's very funny when I see a lot of people rushing into Bitcoin without even understanding what Bitcoin is or how it works. You know, for most people, I mean, one of the biggest misconceptions now is to think that Bitcoin is still being perceived as a currency when in fact it's more perceived as uh, an asset, an asset that holds value. And, and these are one of the many things that are different about Bitcoin. And so I hope through this video, people get to understand a little bit more about what Bitcoin really is so that even if you're going to invest in it, you're doing so from a place of information and knowledge. Even though millions have now invested and continue to invest in Bitcoin, the reality is that most people know very little of this highly coveted cryptocurrency. So here are a few facts about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. There are no central banks or intermediaries to govern Bitcoin transactions. Bitcoin transactions are stored in a public ledger called a blockchain, which can be accessed by anyone at any time. Bitcoin has grown in value from less than a dollar in 2009 to over $30,000 as of January 2021. Now, based on the facts about Bitcoin and its value appreciation alone, what is there not to love about investing in Bitcoin? And what about cryptocurrencies has traditional investors and financial institutions so worked up? All investments have a measure of risk involved. And one of the things that gives an investor confidence is the guarantee of regulations and oversight by a credible organization which effectively safeguards their investment. This supervision is one of the key things missing in the world of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin being a digital currency or simply a digital asset as many now like to see it is not beholden to a country or specific government agency. Hence, all investors have to simply trust that the blockchain stays secure. That's asking a lot if you ask me. It is said that the higher the risk, the higher the reward. So uh, if you're that kind of person, if you have a, a high risk threshold, then maybe Bitcoin investing is for you. However, here, here's the thing. Um, Bitcoin lacks oversight and that's one of the biggest concerns for most investors. The fact that there really is no governing council, so to speak. Who do you report to when a transaction goes south? That doesn't really exist in the world of cryptocurrencies. Another major concern about Bitcoin investing is its volatility. As its value seems to be driven entirely by speculation, this makes the price very unstable. To its credit, however, in recent months, there is an argument that Bitcoin is becoming less volatile than some stocks listed on the S&P 500. Strange, isn't it? But there is a reason for that, and that reason will help us decide if Bitcoin is indeed a viable investment or not.
It is said that all truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Then, it is violently opposed. And finally, it is accepted. Bitcoin seems to have passed through all three stages and is finally getting accepted. But why now? In spite of its volatility, Bitcoin has now had an all-time historic growth of nearly 500,000%, creating hundreds of millionaires across the world as a result. The risk profile of the cryptocurrency also seems to be on the decline as it has started to attract a lot of big money, such as Square investing $50 million and also major recognition by institutions like PayPal allowing users buy and sell Bitcoin. And that both happened in 2020. By all indication, it would seem the value of Bitcoin is set to soar even higher in the coming months and years. So, should you buy Bitcoin or not? Based on the facts available at the moment and Bitcoin's historical performance, it would seem to be a good investment for the long term. However, a few notes of caution only buy from trusted and reliable sources. Do not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Matter of fact, that goes for all types of investments. Finally, do your own research and make your own decisions knowing fully well that depending on the timing, someone will be right and the other wrong. In the end, Bitcoin could be worth $100,000 per coin in the next few months, or it could be worth much less than its present value. But only time will tell.